Hi, and welcome to Bimobic Talks. Uh, today we will be showcasing the Norgips Bimobic solution for, in this case, Archicad. So, um, uh, as normal as we do on the portal, we, we can locate the manufacturer. Uh, as you see, Norgips have a couple of interior wall elements, which I will demonstrate. So, basically what you do, you find uh, the interior wall you want, and you can download it both in, in uh, for composite wall structures, which is the AAT file, and you can also download it as uh, very detailed uh, production and construction models, which I will, I will demonstrate. So, you just simply download and, and add it to your project. So uh, I'm going into Archicad and I just added a, uh, a slab to have something to place these, these walls on. Um, and to start with, we will uh, set the scale uh, in an early design and documentation phase. We will have it to 1 to 100. Um, <clears throat> using the wall element tool, we, we put in a wall with a 2400 millimeter height. Uh, and in this first uh, case, we, we just leave it as, as airspace just to make our, our design. Uh, and this is just the basic element features uh, of this actual BIM system Archicad. Um, and let's have a, uh, have a quick look in, in 3D. So basically this is what we, we made so far, nothing strange. Uh, <clears throat> this is all good enough for, for doing all the early documentation for building approvals, uh, etc. Um, let's continue a little bit and look uh, down in the scale and, and uh, go a little bit further into the process. So what we can do now is we can obviously highlight these walls and uh, change it into Norgips um, um, products. So here we have developed the, the, the Norgips uh, interior walls uh, and you can see they're rated for, for their sound uh, insulation. So I, I pick a 120 <coughs> and now you can also see that the, the hatches have, have changed in the wall. And this is of course uh, perfect for energy calculations and these type of things. Uh, if you make a cut section it will also show the material etc. So, so for these type of purposes it's, it's absolutely good enough. Uh, you don't see a big difference in, in the 3D window obviously because these are only uh, materials inside the actual wall element. Um, so just to make this a little bit more illustrative I will put in a Casu security door. Um, actually, of course, the beam object that also. I will use some Velfac windows. Um, I think that will be all right. I just place them a little bit randomly, not caring about uh, any design intent in, in this presentation. Uh, <clears throat> so what we actually have now is is very very small simple building uh, with a couple of windows and, and in the wall elements. Um, Taking the next step now, this is this is the real important part where we will actually like to keep the the wall elements and the window placement, and we want to keep this part of the of the process model. Uh, on the other hand, we would like to turn it into a construction and production model, and for that purpose, we we have the Norgips uh, uh, wall type here uh, with all the parameters, and you will see that this have all the different type of features. Uh, what we can set in the in the system. So what I will do is I will I will choose one of the wall elements and instead of choosing one by one uh, there is a neat feature uh, in this particular BIM system Archicad uh, where I can actually take a, a wall and and take this information and create um, these more uh, detailed objects uh, automatically. So it's called the Design Extras Accessory Wall Accessories um, it brings up my, my dialog box and of course now I have the ability to um, show a little bit how the joints should meet uh, in this project. Uh, I can also uh, look at what exactly if I, if I want to uh, modify the wall types. Uh, I can do that here now. The profile distances I can see and I can set. Um, and I can also uh, do other settings for 2D I can show the detail level. There are several detail levels of this uh, um, particular uh, object. I can also say that I want to show the gypsum board and also show the insulation. Uh, and of course, I can set any kind of uh, uh, insulation texture, which is more like a visual visual quality. But to start with, I, I ask the object to present itself with the gypsum boards, with the profile, and with the insulation. I click OK and show what which is the inside. 
And if we now <clears throat> zoom in, we, now we actually have two, two models uh, in a way on top of each other in the same database because it's all about process modeling when you come to advanced BIM usage. Um, what we can do now is obviously uh, we can do a, a transparency on the, on, on the floors or actually we do it on, only on the walls. Um, so let's go to, to 3D and have a look. So basically you don't see too big difference now uh, uh, because we, we do have a, a, a gypsum board and we do have insulation in here. So, but the beauty of these object-oriented objects is of course that now we can, we can select uh, these items here. Um, we can go into the dialog box for the Norgips product and say don't show the gypsum board. Uh, this way it will just turn it off so it's more like a visibility feature. Uh, and you can actually now see uh, uh, much, much more uh, details uh, in, in the actual walls. Um, we can also, of course, select these walls and tell these here that, okay, don't show the boards, don't show the insulation either. Um, this will have the effect that you will only now see the, the steel profiles of, of the actual uh, elements, which is pretty neat. Um, <clears throat> The other nice feature is, of course, if you want to do some adjustments. So uh, let's say we, we would like to make some other adjustments because we, we do have an algorithm that is trying its best to, to build these um, uh, constructions as, as good as possible. But there is also um, a nice way to actually allow uh, the designer or, or the engineer to edit these um, uh, graphically. And, and make a, a better solution. So you now see now there is small red dots here. Uh, this means I can I can manipulate with a profile distance, and I can actually see where where it it would make better sense uh, because of the window placement. Uh, I can make uh, some some changes to the to the construction, the detail construction. Um, another nice feature is obviously if we if we do some uh, we do some changes um, to the actual to the actual model. Um, so let's let's pan a little bit here and first of all I would like to make a little bit of a change on these two so um, I do put them 50 millimeters inside first of all uh, and then I, I, I move them so I move them in inside the wall um, and you will see now that the, the beauty of this is that actually the, the whole process of, of uh, feeding data from the, the element wall and the openings placement is, is automatic and the whole construction uh, Norgibs wall is updated uh, automatically. Um, so the other reason to do this is of course that, that this will be able to generate every single uh, drawing of each element so there's more or less no need to make any drawings this will be more or less uh, an automatic process um, the other thing is, is obviously that quantity calculations will, will also uh, take place. So um, we can also get a, a full quantity uh, calculation out of, out, of the, out of the project. A um, little bit quick, let's uh, look at uh, the whole, whole structure. Um, have a little bit of a bigger building here. Let's take that one. We can delete what we, we just have done. And look at it how it will look in a in a three-story building. So here is a. So you see, even even if we are uh, working with a lot of geometry, it's absolutely no problem uh, with today's computer to work with this kind of detail level. Um, you can also see here I worked a little bit more with a uh, with a Belfac uh, windows inside the wall elements, and we also have built up a, a scaffolding um, beam object which helps us to define how much scaffolding we, we will use we, with the similar principles. Um, we also have another element here for, for uh, the concrete for the slab uh, production, which is also um, pretty neat. Um, so yeah, so this, this is, gives you an opportunity to make very, very detailed, solve a lot of problems here in the computer, which is the, the, the kind of the vision of, 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 uh, of BIM. Um, and this calculates every internal component uh, of the Norgibs uh, product. So uh, that's all I wanted to, to show today. Thank you very much.